Louise, James, ladies, gentlemen, friends, I'm John, father of the bride. Yes, this vision of loveliness was all my own work. Well, I suppose I do have to accept that I did have a little help from my wife Sandra at times. Now, going back to welcoming James, let's be honest, at our first meeting, I, like every other father of a daughter before me, meeting his daughter's chosen young man, wanted nothing more than to stab him repeatedly with a blunt screwdriver. <laughs> we are relatively civilised in Dorset, though, so I didn't. There are many other examples of the way she's made things happen for herself throughout her life by identifying clear goals and working hard to achieve them. I have to say, she really does take after her mother there, with all seriousness. Now look at her, a university graduate with a good degree, a music degree, and a professional musician. That takes some determination. It's not an easy path to tread. Knowing nods and smiles around the room there, I see. I've been warned repeatedly over the weeks building up to today, but none of it prepared me for what I saw when she walked in wearing that dress this morning. I know I'm biased, but I'm convinced that no bride, except maybe my bride, but it's a close run thing, has ever looked so wonderful, so radiant, so absolutely beautiful as Louise does today. James, take you, Louise. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. James, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share with you. presence of God and before this congregation, James and Louise have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. <laughs> <laughs>
met many, many years ago, I'm gonna go with. Can't remember. Seven and a half. There we go. In uh, Birmingham Conservatoire. Uh, basically the first week of uh, college. And I've uh, been stuck with her ever since. Um, she will not go away. <laughs> It's, it's been absolutely <laughs> um, It has been absolutely wonderful. I would not get rid of any of the time at all that we've been together. Um, yeah, um, and you do look so good today. I love you so much, and that's basically why this has happened. Uh, You're going to get um, my speech in the form of a lesson. Um, earlier on. Uh, the brilliant Thomas and Finley handed out a piece of paper to you saying, can you guess the odd one out? This is a, a starter that we like to use at schools, um, trying to provoke a bit of discussion. Which one um, is the odd one out? So I'm going to open up in a second uh, to, to some answers on the floor. Um, I want to see some people with some hands up, perhaps, people who think they might have an answer for this. Thomas, can you help me out, please? Um, the one in the middle is the odd one out, because the other two are big sissy girls. The other two are big sissy girls. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Do we, do we have any other hands up around the room? Young man over there. The one on the left, the odd one out, because he has... Amazing. <laughs> the one on the left is a lady who looks like James that we saw at the beach. So well done. We like to call her James. But oh, there we are. I think I know the answer here. Go on. Because I was there when you took that photo of the lady who looked the lady. like James. <laughs> and I know that those two people have been a little late to the raft race. And the man in the middle hasn't. Ah, oh, that could be an answer. It's a very, very intelligent point of view there. Thank you very much for your input. The true answer, of course, is that there aren't um, any right or wrong answers. This we can have our different points of view. But the main point of it is there is only one James Davis. And it doesn't matter how many lookalikes there are. Thank you very much. Please now stand and join me in a toast to Louise and James. Thank you.